Welcome to a terrible football show. The worst football podcast on the internet. No questions asked. You know it. We know it. But hey, we're here to have a good time. That's all that matters at the end of the day. I'm Alex Light with Sparky3. Hope you're having an incredible day. I, I hope so because, I mean, just tuning into this show, your day naturally gets a little bit worse. That's just how it goes. So hopefully you're not having a bad day. If you are having a bad day, I'd probably I'd probably go ahead and click out of the episode, come back another day when you're feeling a little bit better. You know, so we just don't make your day worse. So we're, we're not trying to do that here. Uh, join with me as always. I got Tyler here in studio. Tyler, how you feeling? I feel good. Feel do good. you? Do you? Yeah. After what happened this weekend, do you feel good? It's a... Uh... It was a little rough, but yeah, I feel good. You know I, why? Why? Because Buffalo gets play Miami. That's all that matters. <laughs> I mean, fair. Easy game for you. Yeah. Easy game. I'm, uh-huh. I'm still kind of recovering right now. Um, I mean, I got very mixed emotions about a lot of different things that's happened uh, this past Sunday. It happens. It does. It's a rough life right yeah. now. It is a rough life. Hopefully it gets rougher for somebody. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It depends on how we want to refer to that. <laughs> depends on how we want to refer to that. Uh, for today's episode, we will be recapping NFL Week 7 and College Week 8. And, of course, we're looking ahead at NFL Week 8 and College Week 9. we got a lot of good games this weekend for college football. Tyler and I have uh, 14 games that we're going to be calling, 11 that uh, we personally picked out. And then, of course, we have our FBS Game of the Week, our FCS Game of the Week, and our terrible game of the week um first and foremost if you could go follow us on twitter at terrible fb show uh, we'd appreciate that you can go check out my other shows like a lot of gamers anime and plus and talk about movies and stuff and lastly if you want to support us further the patreon's a great way to do so don't feel don't feel obligated though just be a friend tell a friend shout out to you andy our tier one patron appreciate the hell out of you um so before we actually jump into football talk, Tyler, anything on your mind we need to chat about non-football related? You know, how's life? You know, any other sports you want to talk about? The World Series about to kick off. How you feeling about it? Uh, well, the trash droves are there. So I did see that. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Yep, I, I knew you would not be a big fan of that one. Definitely not. But hey, at least now I ain't got to listen to Jeremy talk about the Boston. Oh, that's always a plus. <laughs> it's always a plus. Downside uh, is now I got to listen to somebody talk about the Braves. You know. Yeah. How's, uh, how's the Kings doing in the NBA? I haven't checked. Uh, started out pretty good. Okay. Harrison Barnes is looking like looking like Mr. Iowa right now. Right Averaging on. about 30 about thirty points a game. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Buddy's over there throwing bricks like he usually does. Yep. Sucks. Yeah. Well, trade his ass. Tra- trade him. Get rid of him. Yeah. Mar- hey, Marvin Bagley only played one game. Oh. So, he, he must definitely be in his feelings right now. Right. But not even dressing them, I don't think, because – He's only came in for about 10 minutes, and that was game two. Mm-hmm. So, trade his ass. Have you uh, played any new games recently? Uh, you, know, you just got a Switch? Just got a Switch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Play Rocket League, which naturally. Okay. Yeah, naturally. I tried some at Pokemon Unite. Uh, got a little confused. So. Well, I mean, if it's, <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you, Pokemon Unite is a baby's first MOBA, so I mean, it'd yeah. be, it's a good start for you. But yeah. going into it blind, yes, you will be confused. <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, Chizard, Chiz- Chizard. Oh my Charizard. sweet Christ! Come Charizard, on Charizard. Yep, <laughs> I chose that character. I think I don't really know. Oh Jesus! There was a lot of lot of questions, and I don't like questions, so I was just skipping that shit, and then like pick something. I'm like. I only know two of these motherfuckers, Pikachu and the Charizard. There you go. So Proud I chose that one because I don't, don't want to be basic and get Pikachu. You know, Pikachu's pretty good though. It just Pikachu just got a buff. Yeah, Charizard's yeah. slow as shit though. Yeah, Charizard's slow. All rounders are, are like on a the damn slow. lineman out there. Yeah, all rounders are not that fast. Um, I, mean, I mean, pretty much everyone is sl- is uh, slow for the most part, but. Uh, I had Guardians of the Galaxy pre-ordered. I'm really excited for this game. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's not going to be here till Friday, even though it came out today. So kind of upset about that. Uh, that I, fucking I w- sucks. I want to play it so bad that I'm low-key thinking about buying it twice so I can play it immediately. Like, I know it's just a couple days, but that's how bad I want to play this game. PS5? Yeah. Naturally. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, the way that some, I've seen some people describe the game is that it's like, uh, Marvel Spider-Man and Mass Effect mixed together. I'm just like, by God, this is going to be one of my favorite games of oh, all yeah. time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two, those are two of my favorite games ever. Uh, but we'll go ahead and jump into football talk now. Let's look at previous week predictions. I went 6-7 and seven in the NFL. Not too hot. That brings me up to a 65-42 overall record. Uh, for college, I did pretty well. 10-2. That brings me up to a 29-17. For Tyler, you went 9-4 in the NFL. Shout out. And that yeah. ties us 
for the NFL was 65-42, and you went 9-3 and three with your bitch picks. Uh, to. Yeah, bringing you up to a 19-27 to 27 record. Um, you're, you're bringing your way back slowly but surely. Uh, you'll get it together. You know, we got, uh, like I said, 14 picks for this week, 11 that we both picked out, uh, and then our three games of the week. So, you know, maybe Tyler can keep climbing back. We'll see. Uh, so, Tyler, let's go ahead and kick off the show with uh, with what happened this weekend. So, how you feeling? Uh, number seven ranked, formerly. Uh, formerly. Yeah. Penn State falls to Illinois, unranked, by old Burt Belima. Um 20 to 18 after a record setting nine overtimes. How are you feeling about this game? This game is very uh almost fitting. It's fitting yeah. for like like you said before, you know, yeah. if Penn State's gonna lose one to two games a year. <laughs> yep. Yep. So how it's you always f- a random like that. Yep. So uh how you feeling? Uh I, I feel better that it's nine overtimes and it's that the new style, which I didn't even know about. Uh I would rather lose like that than lose in regulation. Mm-hmm. You know, like we had a chance, but ah, man, there was a lot of run plays, right? And old Bert was running that damn ball. <laughs> like, yep. I think it said 67 times. Mm-hmm. Fucking Army ran 70 against uh, who they play? Um, Wake, Wake, yep. yeah, and they're known for running, so yeah, Army, Army, and Navy both, yeah. So if, if Penn State's gonna lose, it's gonna lose to a running team, and yep. they ran the hell out that ball, so. Who did Illinois beat week one? I forgot. Um, uh, fuck. It was an upset. I, yeah, I remember seeing it. It um, was an upset. Well, see, my question, the, the, the question I'm, a, I'm going to propose to you is obviously old Burt, old Burt Belima. You know, he had a successful tenure with uh, Wisconsin, yep. you know, before he ever went to Arkansas and just kind of, you know, bomb there. Uh, and, you know, now him in his back in his first year with Illinois, you know, he had like a week one upset. Who was it? Nebraska. Nebraska, uh, which was initially kind of an upset at the beginning yeah. of the year, and no one kind of expected that. And now a pretty big upset versus Penn State. Is this like the – is this the beginning for old Burt Belima with Illinois staying, saying to the Big Ten, I'm back? You know, is that is that what's happening right now? Is he here to dominate the Big Ten? Is he going to – is Illinois going to run this Big Ten going forward? Uh, No. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but on a good note, they might finish 6-6. Six and six. Uh, that's a plus. Think about it like that. I don't know. They got Minnesota. They're definitely losing to Iowa. Yeah. But well, yeah, that's what we said about Penn it's, State. It's either five and seven or six and six. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, this could be the start of a new era for Illinois. I mean, let's be or honest. He's gonna look for a new job. Yeah, he could. He could use it as a stepping stone. And go somewhere else. You know. I mean, he isn't, obviously stay in the big. Yeah, Big Ten. That's where he seems you know. to find some success. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this could be a start. You know, of 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 Bert, of Bert really putting his foot in the door, saying, "What's yeah. up, Big Ten? I'm back." Yep. Now, the question is, will he remain with Illinois and really build that program with through recruiting? That's going to be the question. But uh, I would like to see it. I, I mean, with because Illinois hasn't been relevant in so long. Me yeah. too. I mean, Illinois was a team that I was following the past few years because uh, Lovey Smith was there. Oh, but you know, but he couldn't pull anything together. Unfortunately, now he's uh, down in Houston, Texans. So damn. Yep, I think he's just the D coordinator down there. For uh, old old Pulley, Dave Pulley, yeah, that's his name. Yep, yeah, Dave Pulley. He was a, he was a Bills assistant coach. Pulley was a couple, a couple or a quarterbacks coach, I think. Okay, he was something with Buffalo, and I didn't, even, man, I didn't even know it. <laughs> okay, that's how good of a fan I am. Yeah, I mean it happens sometimes. Uh, speaking of being a fan, my team Miami, they did uh, pull off the upset versus 18th ranked NC State, 31 to 30. Damn. Um. Did not expect this, honestly. NC State has proven to me they're a pretty solid football yeah. team, and Miami has pr- given me every reason to believe they're not a good football team. Uh, I don't think Manny Diaz is going to be the guy for us. I think he needs to get gone. Uh, but, yo, Tyler Van Dyke, uh, this was his best game so far, 25 for 33, 325 yards, four TDs. Uh, the, you know, you know, is this, com- is this the coming out party for Tyler? Maybe. You know, I, I got to see some highlights. He had some pretty good throws, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have our other freshman that was part of the 2021 recruiting class who is set to come back sometime at Jake Garcia yeah. sometime in November. Uh, Tyler, of course, being a redshirt freshman from the 2020 class. Um, you know, it'll be. I, I'm super pumped about this, man. I, hopefully this is not a one-off game. You know, hopefully we can keep building on this. Uh, because, you know, my, my issue with Miami over the last few years is that we've had a couple of young guys – who showed potential. You know, they had flashes of this, right? You know, flashes that they could be something more. And then what do we do? We, like, 
we let Tate Martell come and transfer there and never do anything. We bring King in and he hasn't really done anything for us, right? You know, we, you know, bringing King in is what ran Jaron Williams out. And I thought Jaron Williams played pretty well as a freshman. You know, when it comes to freshmen, you can't expect these guys to come out and be Johnny Manziel's. They come once in a lifetime. Yeah. You know, these freshmen are going to come in. They're going to struggle. They're going to be like a rookie quarterback in the NFL. They're going to have their growing pains. Uh, so seeing the flashes here, man, that's important. Cause I, you know, that's how I felt with Miami when it came to Jaron Williams. Uh, and that's how I felt towards Nikosi Perry, who's, of course, thriving down at uh, Florida Atlantic right now. Um so I, I, I hope this is the beginning of a new era for us with Tyler Van Dyke. And, you know, you know, it, whether if it's him or Jake, I don't give a shit. You know, we haven't got to see Jake in action yet. Uh, whoever, just one of them. Like, let's move on from, you know, bringing in, like, some, you know, some older stud QB who wants to transfer. Like, I swear to Christ above, if Spencer for some reason transfers to Miami, I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah. I'm going to lose my shit. Like, Absolutely, I'm tired of this, man. Let's just let, let's focus on building our freshmen up. Let's move from there. Uh, so, man, we got some changes coming up in college football. We got some shaking up happening here. Uh, is Conference USA dead? Uh, it depends on who they can get. I think they're dead. You think they're dead? I think they're dead. Why is that? I mean, they're already like a subpar conference as it is. Yeah. And they did just lose like six of their members, and they're expected to lose more. So, uh, some news that did pop out within the last week: uh, Charlotte Forty ers who, mind you, they just came up to FBS in the last few years. Yeah, uh, Charlotte, uh, FAU, North Texas, Rice, UAB, and Texas San Antonio. They're all going to the American Conference, which you know, American just took a little bit of a hit losing Cincy. Since he going to the Big Twelve, of course, um, you know. ODU and Marshall uh, are expected to leave Conference USA. Probably going to be going to Sun Belt at this point with how things are kind of going. Apparently, Southern Miss is joining the Sun Belt, leaving Conference USA. Uh, James Madison, a FCS school, is expected to come up to FBS level, but they're expected to join Sun Belt at this point because of what's happening to Conference USA. Now, Sam Houston and McNe- uh, Mc- uh, McNeese State, they're both in contact with Conference USA. Uh, but at this point, I mean, they're seeing what's happening with Conference USA. It's like, are you really? Do you really want to go there, or you want to maybe try to be an independent, or do you want to try to be, you know, go to the Sun Belt? You know what I mean? Well, if you go there, you might still end up being come an independent, you know? Yeah, true. Or unless like the big merge happens where mm-hmm. there's like big four powerhouse instead of a big five, you know? Well, if the merge happened, how do you think it'd play out? Uh, they would probably put the American and Conference USA into one just because, you know. Or Sunbelt says, hey, Conference USA, yeah. come on over. Yeah. Make one big power Sunbelt conference. Yeah. That's a that's a hell of a turn for Western Kentucky that left the Sunbelt to go to the Conference USA. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot <laughs> about that. They did, didn't they? That's a that's a hell of a turn right there. Yeah. So, I don't know. It happens. I mean, I, I, I personally believe Conference USA is, is donezo. I mean, they've lost too many of their big power. I mean, who do they have to make them relevant? You know, no yeah. one. You know, re, 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 realistically, no one. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're not they, – they can't survive the same way that the MAC can. You know, the MAC survives because of where they're located. They kind of stay within their, their little fold, whatever. But Conference USA being down there in the south when you have Big 12, SEC, the Sun Belt seems to be on the rise with who they're at. Americans got a lot of south presence. Conference USA, which is mostly based in the south for the most part, there's a couple yep. of exceptions with like ODU, for example. I believe that's Virginia. Um Right? Am I right on that? Yeah, I feel like it's right. I think it's Virginia. Because they always play one of the Virginia teams. Okay. I, th- I think it's Virginia. Yeah, that would make sense, you know. Yeah, Marshall's up there in Virginia area too, right? Yeah, West Virginia. Yeah. Because that's where Randy Moss went. Yep. Bingo. So, but, you know, the majority of Conference USA's, you know, you know where they thrive is out of the south area. So, I don't know. I just don't feel like, you know, they're going to be able to really survive, you know, going long term. Like, they'll still be around for years to come, but I see them dying out anyway. I mean, if we're, we're going to be real, like, you know, unless Sunbelt and, you know, Americans made a lot of moves over the years. I, I feel pretty good about where Americans at. Yeah. And, I, you know, even though they're, they're literally on their own island, I feel good about where Max at because, again, they're on their own island. Yeah. I know they compete with Big Ten country, but – that's all they really compete with, let's be honest. Everything yeah. else is either mid or south. Big Ten is really the only kind of notable thing up there. So Mac is able to survive and do their own thing. And some of the Big Ten teams are basically Mac teams, like yeah. Rutgers and, yeah. you know, exactly. Illinois. Uh, Northwestern. Damn. Yeah. Especially basketball for Northwestern. Oh, yeah. They fucking suck. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have a special place for uh, for Northwestern in my heart because I love Pat Fitzgerald. Yeah, I really do. Yep. I, I have no connection to why I should love him. I just think he's a great. I think he's an electric great head. Coach, That's how man. it was with uh, Craig Peterson. Oh, really? yeah, Patterson or Chris. is it Chris? You know, my Chris, 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 yeah, Chris yeah. over at Boise State. Yep. He's at Washington now, right? Or no. she, where's he at? He ain't got no job. No, he was at Washington, right? I yeah, think he was. He was. Okay, I thought so. That would be some. That would be some hell of a thing if USC calls him, right? Or LSU. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's looking for a job though. He no. like he like he likes what he's doing right now. Yeah, he's just chilling. Yeah, he's vibing. He's vibing. Uh, talking about coaches though, uh, Matt Wells, head coach at Texas Tech, fired. He was like thirteen and fifteen. Yeah. So that's that's fucking tough. It's like Cliff Kingsbury again. <laughs> <laughs> so Man. so is Matt Wells? Is he the next head coach in the NFL? That's gonna be on. That's gonna go lead a team seven and zero. Is he, that is that what is, is that what it's about to happen? Because it feels like it. You know what he's doing right now, huh? Chad Morris. What, what you got down hey, there? What's, what you got going on, man? <laughs> you know, <laughs> man. Who you think? Who you think Texas Tech gonna look for? Man, I, I'll be honest, and I guess it's because I I had that time period of where I got to grow up watching him. Yep. I would love to see Texas Tech hire Graham Harrell. Dude, that would be. Especially since you know he's going to be looking for a job because they're yeah. about to get a new coach. Yeah, dude, Graham Harrell, that'd be that might be too perfect, right? So because it's too perfect, I would say Sonny Dykes from SMU because mm-hmm. he, if I'm not mistaken, he either graduated from there or his dad was a coach at Texas Tech. It might be both. Okay, <laughs> it might be. I'm not going to fact check it. Now, this is what I heard today. It might be both. Okay. So speaking of that, if you Okay, how about this? If you was the USC AD, you, USC, yeah, that's what I say. Yep. If you was the AD, which three would you pick? What, which three would you call for an interview? Okay, that's tough. Uh, well, first off, I, before I jump into that, I do want to give a shout out. I fucking loved Mike Tomlin's response to this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> loved it. Loved it. Because Man. Carson Palmer kind of threw Mike Tomlin <laughs> under the bus. Or he's just like, yeah, you know, Mike Tomlin's been talked about, whatever. And uh, I forgot whose show he was on, Dan Patrick's show. Yeah. And Dan Patrick's just like, oh, so is that a thing? And Carson's like, yeah, you didn't know. And Dan's like, no, I don't think no one knows about that. And Carson just says, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, Mike Tomlin's response was electric. Man. Absolutely electric. Uh, so, hey, let me ask you a question for for this segment. Do we want to introduce what we what you do? We want to bring in some music, you know, and run through this. Do we want to feel like an actual sports show for a minute? Are you vibing? I I feel like I'm vibing for it. Send it. All right, pick a color. Uh, we can do orange, yellow, green, teal, or blue. What color do you want to do? You pick. Uh, I don't care. Let's go orange for Chicago Bears. Yo, that is a good track. This is a good track. You know, shout out to. In audio, if you are a content creator of any form, whether if you're on YouTube, Twitch, you're podcasting, whatever the case is, go to In Audio to get all of your latest tracks. All copyright free. You can also pay for a subscription, sixty dollars for a year. Yes. Yeah, so if you're a gamer, you know, you know, if you're a gamer on Twitch, YouTube, whatever, you know, sixty bucks, the price of a game covers you for an entire year, where you can download all of the tracks you want, plus alternate versions that you can use for short clips or whatever. That's where we get all of our intros across every single show here at Spark. Key three. So make sure you go to in audio and check that out. This is a non sponsored <laughs> plug, but hey, you got to practice, right? Hey, you got to nice. get. I liked hey, it. hey, hey, shout out, shout out. I have been reached out for sponsors, not for this show, unfortunately. We'll get there, Same Tyler. Yeah, we, we're growing. You know, this is episode seven, we're growing. But lighthearted gamers, I have been reached out a couple times. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So, hey, you got to get the practice in. You got to work on it. You know so what I mean? So, that means everybody listening a lot harder. So Bingo. Let's keep growing with it. All right, but let's hit the music and let's run through it. All right, I've actually got a large list here, but only a couple of them I'm actually going to quickly shout out. So, Mark Stoops, head coach of Kentucky, that is one that I would consider. Lincoln yep. Riley, he probably is not going to come out of Oklahoma, but, hey, let's be real. You're going to the SEC. Can you survive over there? Do you want to go ahead and get out and build a franchise over here with, the, with USC? Yo, Matt Campbell at Iowa State, he's done a phenomenal job at what he's doing there, really building up that program. And same thing for Mel Tucker, at head coach yep. of Michigan State. Now, he's probably not going to leave. I'm going to give him a call because in a very short amount of time, this man has been – and turning around this program. He only went two and five in his first year last year in a COVID year. Really tough adversity there, but the man's turned around. He's seven and zero leading into a huge matchup this weekend versus Michigan. They're big rival. They're both top ten ranked. So Mel Tucker's a guy that I'd probably call. But my top three guys, and this third one 
kicking things off may shock you, but I would actually give Bill O'Brien a call. Billy OB, man. Damn. Yeah, Bill O'Brien. I like it. OC at Alabama. He went 15-9 and nine at Penn State when all odds against him because of what happened with Penn State. Sorry, Tyler, I got to plug that there. And then he went 52-48 as a Houston Texans head coach. Now, there's been, th- you know, that's been kind of sketchy, but there's stuff that kind of came out at, towards the end where he was basically trying to get fired because of upper leadership. But yeah. what he did on the field, he was a good coach, and I think he could build up USC. Of course, number two, Luke Fickle, man. I love what he's done with Cincinnati, making them relevant. He is 6-1 and one as his one year as an intern at Ohio State that basically set him up to fail because they were going to hire Urban no matter what. And then 42-14 and 14 so far at Cincinnati. And, of course, number one, your boy James Franklin. Jay Frank. Jay Frank of Penn State. He made Vandy slightly relevant. 24 and 15 at Vandy, two bowl wins. And now he has gone 65 and 30 at Penn State with three bowl wins. He has been ranked five during seasons, top 10 ranked multiple times. You got to give James Franklin a call right off the bat. But Luke Fickle, Bill O'Brien, also some good candidates there as well. Do you have the the record for Vandy before and after Jay Frank was there? Nope. Did not get that far. (laughs) Hey, just if you're listening, look it up. And it is. It, I proves, imagine it's wild. That proves yeah. Jay Frank can turn a program around. Yeah, and and that's ultimately why I feel like he is the number one because you know you got you got to look at what he did with Vandy, Van Vandy of the SEC. This school is never relevant besides like what like they're they're relevant like what baseball. I think they have a pretty good baseball program. I could be wrong. Basketball, women's basketball, but like what are they doing in football? You know, for the fact that he got Vandy ranked in in two in his last two years out of three years, got some bowl wins. Yo, that's that's impressive, man. You got to give James Franklin a call. Luke Fickle's another guy that, of course, I'd give a call because of what he's done for Cincinnati. But I can't help but for Luke, man, you know, he's going to want to stay at Cincy because they're going to go – they're going to the big leagues now. So, you know, him getting to – if he stays at Cincy, we're going to get to see what he does in the big leagues, and that's going to be really exciting. But I got to tell you, for the USC job, you you really need a superstar splash of a head coach hiring, in my opinion. And I feel like all these guys that I named for the most part, minus a couple like maybe Mel Tucker, that he's kind of on the rise. But I feel like all these guys, you you got to have that notable yeah. name coming in because yep. you know because of with the program that you're that you have with USC and what it's supposed to be. Yeah. When Pete Carroll was there, yo USC was unbelievable. They were it was a constant party. I mean, I've seen some people talk about Pete Carroll in college where it's like, if Pete Carroll, if he would still be in college today, Nick Saban would not be the Nick Saban we yep. know now. Yep. And I actually agree to that. You know, because of what Pete Carroll was able to build for the community and the program yep. of USC. Big what time. about you? What about you? We've got a, we've got another big school that's looking for a coaching candidate going next year, uh, LSU at SEC. If you were the AD, how would you be feeling on that? Do I get any music? Which color you want? Yeah, uh, I mean, we just hit orange. Do you want yellow, green, teal, or blue? Well, LSU is yellow, so it would make sense to pick them. So you want yellow? I don't know what yellow is, so fuck it. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. go. Oh, I like that. That's a, that's a vibe. Right? There you go. There you go. Shit. Okay. This is, we, shit, we might, we might hire uh, Ordron back. There you go. Damn. Okay, so if I was LSU's AD, I don't know his name, but – uh. The obvious choice is calling Lane Train, right? Okay. But okay. I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> hey, he's happy up there in Oxford. True. Let him stay there. Another obvious, which is his name is always mentioned, which is Matt Campbell from Iowa State. Bingo. Why would he leave Iowa State? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Billy O'Brien. I like that. That's that's pretty solid. Okay. So my my three, I would go Mel Tucker, Michigan State, because he used to. Used to be an assistant at LSU. Did pretty good. So, I would definitely call him. He worked under Saban and Kirby. Pretty solid. Okay. And then, my number two, I call Jimbo. Oh. Oh. Call him. Hey, call him. Fuck it. You know? Because LSU is a little bit more of a known known city, known uh, power program than Texas A&M. He'd be fuck Florida State again. Okay? Nothing really. He's just a big name. Fuck it. You got to always have a big name. But my number one target, I'll stay in the state. I'll go over there to Lafayette Ooh. and call up, Ooh. Call, up, call up Billy Napier. Ooh, that's a good one. I wish I would have thought of hey, that one. That's pretty solid right that there. That is. Hey, I like that. You already got connections. Hey, might as well stay in LSU, uh, Louisiana. Yeah. I mean, the only downside is never had a – don't got experience in Power 5. So, would that be it's a smart a move? Yeah, would that be a smart move? Uh 
It's on the fence. I mean, he does pretty. He does pretty good in Louisiana. You know, fuck it, send him up there. That'd I like be my that. yeah. That'd be my number one. I mean, another obvious is because you know he's looking. Jay Frank, yeah. but in my opinion, Jay Frank would rather go to USC or stay at Penn State than go to LSU because mm-hmm. you already been. You already in the Big Ten. I mean, would you rather play Alabama, Georgia, Texas A and M, or would you rather play like Arizona? Right, bingo. Utah. <laughs> Washington State. Colorado. Washington. <laughs> UCLA. Stanford. Definitely Stanford. I'll play them every fucking year. Right. Cal. Cal's pretty bad right now. Cal. The name damn near everybody except. The couple of. Except, decent. obviously. Yeah. Or, shit, we ain't even mentioned Oregon State. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I, I like them beeves, baby. I'm on riding the beaver trade. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, I like them too, though. Yeah, so, Frank, he's going to either stay in, at Penn State or he's going to go ahead and. USC. So yeah, that's my that's my three sidebars. So I like yeah. that. I like that last one. That last one was good. That last one was good. But I, that that might also be like the like the lane train. That might be too obvious. Right. I feel like they might just say fuck it and go hella random. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Arkansas deal with Chad Morris. That was hella random. <laughs> Not even an Arkansas fan, and I agree that was hella random. Actually, the next one was hella random too with Sam Pittman. True. Nobody seen that one coming. True. So, shit, it might, hey, it might pop off. Yeah, it might work out, man. It might how, work out. How you feel about Orgeron finishing the year, though? You think it's good, bad move, money wise? I mean, if you already have it, like, this is how I just view stuff with life, too. I mean, if it's already set up where you know you're doing this, just go ahead and get it over with. Like, like a two weeks notice? Yeah, just go ahead and just get it done. Yeah, yeah in my mind. I mean, that's, that's my take on it. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, his players might not respect like if he's mm. if he's trying to like you know, like motivate his players and they're like, dog, you about to leave anyway. Like, right. Why the fuck would I do that? Right. So I can I see both both sides of it. I mean, he might also help players stay for the new coach. I don't know if he's trying to do all that, mm-hmm. but hey, if Lane Train goes, he might be the defense coordinator. Yeah. You know, one option that I did kind of toy with because, you know, we he, it's been kind of talked about or rumored that, it, you know, this would be the only college job he would consider was Eric Bieniemy, yep. uh OC with Kansas City. That was going to be one of mine. And then I kind of did some research on yep. him. And uh, I saw – I came across some research where, like, the title was, like, realistically why he will not be the <laughs> USC head coach. And I'm like, okay, well, let's – Man, he's got fucking he's got a fucking history. Yep. <laughs> yep. Apparently it dates back to when he was with Colorado and uh like man, they were getting like prostitutes for recruits and shit. And they got yeah. they got big time busted. And I'm just like, damn, I didn't know about this. Shit. <laughs> it's like, when did this happen? Man. Uh it happened a while ago. It was sometime in the two thousands. So I was just like, Okay, yeah, but he probably won't go back to college. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably be good just being the next NFL head coach somewhere. Eventually. Yeah. Uh, that was a good segment. I enjoyed that. That was fun. Might have bring that up. A little later on down the road, you know. Yeah. Put that in the memory bank. Yeah. Eh, you'll probably forget it. No, I won't. I don't forget things. That's a damn lie. <laughs> 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 All right, let's hop over to the NFL talk. I guess we can kick off with my uh, shit show. Actually, let me let me put you on blast real quick. Uh, All right, put me on blast. What's up? Jamar Chase. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> that man. Man. That's tough. Oh, shit. You know, I... <sighs> Look, yeah, you have some hits and you have some misses. But. Yeah, I do. And, you know, going through the years of me looking at the draft, I mean, it, I, I feel like I haven't followed the draft as religiously these past few seasons as I, as I used to. But, man, Same. I used to follow the draft unbelievably religiously. Same. And I had some unbelievable hits, and I've had some I've had some misses. You know, I mean, but uh, Jamar Chase is looking like it's going to be one of, my, one of my big misses. I mean, it is. I mean, I, I feel pretty good about some of the hits that I've gotten in the past of where I was just like, I mean, uh, some some easy examples. It's like Blaine Gabbert, for example. Yeah. You know, everyone was talking him up to be like this great guy. It's like, oh, he's got such a great touch on the ball. He's got great set, he's such accuracy. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, is there like a secret tape that I'm not <laughs> seeing that everyone else is? Because I don't see that. You know, I felt the same way about Jimmy Claus, and I thought he was going to be a bust. Um, who, who was it that mentioned Jimmy Clausen? Was it? It was Mel, Mel Copper. Yeah, yeah. Or Mel was just like, "I'm going to retire if Jimmy Clausen's a bust," and I'm like, "Well, Mel, I'm still fucking waiting for it." Yeah. Now you're on TV re- with him, you know? Yeah, Shit. retire, man. Shit. The hell is Mel Copper? No, anyway. Who the hell is Mel Copper? Was that uh, right? Was that uh, 
someone uh, from uh, the Bill Polian. Yeah. Or Poli whatever. Well, I don't know if it was Bill it was it, I don't know, it was someone from the Colts in the nineties. It 90s. was Olean and it was Bill. It was like what, late eighties or sometime yeah, in the nineties? Mid eighties, yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the hell does Mel Copper? Who my damn mailman knows more than him. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking mailman. Come on now. Yeah. I mean I love that. Might have to find a way to play that clip without getting sued. That's a good clip. That's a good clip. It's one of the best football clips out there. I don't know. It's at least top ten. Arizona was pretty solid. They are who that we thought they were. Yep. Talk about that. Was it the Bears? Yeah, it was the Bears. Yeah, it was Dennis Green, rest in peace. He passed away a few years ago. I also like the playoffs. Uh you okay, um yeah, playoffs is a good one. So another one that's really good. And I want to shout this one out because I was looking at some stuff earlier. And I got to be honest, even though they're like a top 10 ranked team just as of recently and they've been ranked, I got to be fucking real. I did not know Mike Gundy was still the head coach of Oklahoma State. I had no clue. Molly man. Yeah. I mean, he's been so quiet the past few years, you know, but obviously the, his big thing is, like, I'm a man. I'm 40. Like, uh, <laughs> that legendary man, clip. Man, I love that one. That's <laughs> – that's up there. That might be that might be top three right there. I forgot he I did I I did not know he was still the, the head coach of uh of Oklahoma State. I that blew me away. Since two thousand five he's been the yep. head coach. I was like, damn. That's shit. Nice. Kinda like smile. Right. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, you you was two and eight. There's no reason to smile. <laughs> Good old John L. John God. L. Smith. I think he's like D seven football coach right now. Right. Or he might be worse than that, I don't know. Okay, right. back to reality. Yeah, the unfortunate reality that is my life, uh, being a Bears fan. So since uh, since this loss, I've encountered some random people at work, like on Monday, and where I met them for the first time, some newer employees, you know, and stuff. And they were like, "Oh, you're a Bears fan?" I'm like, "Unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a rough life, you know. Bears get the shit kicked out of them by and Tampa. Now you, got, now you got to meet new people, you know. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, dude, our offensive line's so bad, man. I mean. Uh, you know, Sam is Mustafer, uh, our center. He's garbage, flat out. I mean, uh, Jason Peters has honestly played phenomenal this year, in my opinion. Yeah. He really has. Um, you know, he did also J- – Jason did drop today that Larry Larry Borum and uh, Tevin Jenkins is set to come back in the next few weeks, which is great. couple of rookies. You know, we have yet to see Tevin, but Larry, you know, was showing some promise in the preseason. He was showing some promise a couple games before he got hurt. You know, I still think Cody Whitehair and James Daniels can play well, but, man, our offensive line is just so damn bad. Got to take that Buffalo approach. Just get as many people as you can. Yeah, and, and man, honestly, you know, when it comes to watching the team, it just this looks like a team that's just kind of like checked out. Like they yeah. they do. I mean, A. Rob is not playing like a number one receiver. The day by day, week by week, his price tag for us is going down. He's not going to be a bear after this season, flat out, because no. there's no way we're going to pay him with how he's been playing. But I feel like he's been kind of playing dog shit intentionally to get out of Chicago. Uh, I mean, so his, his time is done in Chicago. Um, Sadly. Yeah, sadly. I'm, I'm bummed about that. I was really hoping to keep the, the A-Rob, Darnell, Mooney one-two punch for years to come with Justin. Yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, like, Nagy's got to go. I mean, he's got to go. And, look, I understand there's a lot more problems across the board. I, I get that. I mean, honestly, if I was to come in as a new GM, as the new head coach, whatever, I'll be real, I would clean house. I would start cleaning house right now. And I And when I say that, I'm – Unfortunately, saying let's let's trade some of our stars. Yep. We got to build picks, dude. I, I hate to say it, but let's trade Mac. Yep. Eddie Jackson needs to go at this point. We are paying him too much money for the way that he's playing, flat yep. out. Yep. Um, I, I would I don't want to trade Mac, but hey, if we can get some some good some picks out of it, maybe some other good young players. Solid, let's, solid lineman. Exactly, trade him. You know, yep. Robert Quinn. You know, even though he's having a bounce back year from you know how shitty he played last year, trade Robert. Trade him. I don't. I don't want to trade Hicks. I love Hicks, yeah. but let's trade Hicks. I mean, let's we get we. I mean, you know, we got to build the team for the future. We have done nothing to really help Justin Fields at this time. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, with the Bears' history, unfortunately, Nagy's going to probably be here to the end of the season. I mean, if if we get blown out over the next couple weeks before our bye, maybe. Maybe he might get fired, you know. But with the Bears' history of how they fire, I mean, I don't see, I don't see Nagy going anywhere until the season's over. Uh, in my opinion, that we we don't we don't fire in the middle of the season. Um, but man, the, I mean, it's, we need a whole clean house situation, and that includes Ryan Pace. I've got some love for Ryan Pace. I do. Um, you know, I feel like Ryan. R- 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 okay, the problem with Ryan is Ryan has a lot of good hits. Okay, he does. 
But here's the problem. When Ryan misses, oh, it's a bad He's miss. He's Jamar chasing you. Yeah, it's a it's <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a bad, bad miss. But when he hits, every hit is either really solid or a home fucking run. Yeah. But like I said, I like when, he, baseball reference. when he misses, though, bro, <laughs> it's bad. It's Kevin White bad. Yeah, so, he's, like, so he's the, he's the uh, Aaron Judge of GMs. Yeah. I mean, y'all, it, y'all know who Aaron Judge is. That's, it's a baseball player, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I, I don't like baseball. I don't fall by. I know a little bit. Who does he play for? That's the Yankees, right? Damn. Yeah. What number is he? Ooh, 99. Damn, dude. Is How it, tall is he? I don't fucking know. 6'9". <laughs> he's up there, yeah. He's about 6'9". Okay. <laughs> Damn. I know a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, but not much. But he's trying to put me on blast here. He knows I hate baseball. <laughs> I, I just know a little bit, okay? All right? You know that. You know what you need to know. How about that? Uh, I guess, yeah. 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 Uh, could I name off every baseball team? Yeah, probably not. Damn. I might be able to. I don't know. I could probably do it by division. I mean, I, I have photographic memory, so I yeah. could probably figure it out one way or the other. Yeah, I used to have a poster of all the mm-hmm. teams. So, kind of like the NFL. That's how I know. Yeah. Like, I literally had to look yeah, at the – start. Yeah, yeah I, I feel you. I feel it you. happens. But, no, I mean, the Bears, are, man, we got a clean house, but it won't happen in the end season. So, I, I'm, I'm so checked out of this season. I really am. Because, like, at this point, it's just like – it's like as a Bears fan, like we are so just numb of watching this short of shit, especially since it just happened a few weeks prior. It's just yeah. like, come on, dude. Uh, no, t- also talking about Nag, he did confirm on Monday in his press conference over Zoom that he does have COVID nineteen. Oh, now you can't fucking fire him. Yeah, they can't fire him yet. Um, but I mean, you know, you know, be, you know, completely speaking, real. He said he didn't really feel he didn't feel bad. He didn't feel any symptoms. He just tested positive. Hopefully, that is just the case, and he's fine. I mean, obviously, I don't care for him as a head coach, but I'm I'm not going to wish ill on anyone. Yeah. I mean, unless you're a full blown fucking scumbag, then maybe that might have a different opinion. But I don't think Matt's a scumbag. I just don't think he's a good head coach. So obviously, T's and P's. Hopefully, hopefully everything's fine. He does not develop more symptoms, but. Um, you know, you know, out of that game as well, Tom Brady threw a 600 uh, uh, touchdown pass, and Mike Evans accidentally gave the ball away to a fan. <laughs> so they had to go get the, the the ball back, and the fan did end up giving it up. Where he says like, "You can't say no to Tom Brady." Yeah. Uh, but man, Tyler, would you have given that ball up? Uh, the person I am, I'll probably be scared as shit if somebody's like, "Bro, that's my ball." Give it back. I'll be like, "What ball?" <laughs> be like, here you go. Here you go. I didn't even have the ball. What you mean? Yeah. But hey, he he, got uh, he, he, he made got, out pretty well. Yeah. Tom was like, "Hey, he probably should have held on the ball a little bit longer, get some more leverage." Yeah. <laughs> but you know, hey, he he did pretty good. It was a five hundred thousand dollar ball. Yeah. I mean, he got some autographed uh, jerseys. Uh, I think he got an autographed helmet. I know yep. he got a thousand dollar gift card for the team store, and then uh, Tom bought him a Bitcoin. Which is currently priced that has pulled it up at sixty one thousand. Six three. Sixty one. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Yeah. So I mean I, I feel like he made out decently, you know. You know. Yeah. I, I mean, feel like he made out all right. Yeah. Some people are like you probably should have gave him season tickets for life. Actually he did get yeah, season tickets was another thing. He got season tickets for the rest of this season and all of next season. Yeah. So I mean that's not Which too you, bad. You're sitting at the front row, you assume he got some money. Yeah. Where he can True. afford some. You know, like, but now he didn't pay for it. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would have given up the ball. I mean, I feel yeah. like, I mean, I feel like if I was in his position, I feel like I made out pretty well. I mean, yeah. I do. I mean, he also didn't. I don't think he knew that it was the six hundredth ball. Mm-hmm. Like I think he was just like, oh shit, Mike Evans sent me a ball. I'm gonna take the shit. Right. Like, and he's like, oh shit, he wants it back. Okay. Right. Because you know, some places they won't let they won't let you keep the ball or anything. Mm-hmm. Like, definitely in college, you mm-hmm. get a ball in college, they they right there at you. Give right. the ball back. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, he did pretty good. He well, did pretty good. When it comes to the NFL as well, like dude, the like when it comes to the balls, like getting them back and shit, or just like doing what they do with, like dude, so so often, like the moment a play is done, like a ball is like immediately taken because it's going up to fucking Canton. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, like every time, like yeah, I've heard I've heard like let's say like Pat McAfee talk about it, like where the Super Bowl ball, the kickoff ball, as soon as that ball, as soon as the play's done, whatever, they're taking that ball and it's off to Canton basically, yep. and they're getting a brand new ball in. I mean that's how that's how it goes. It's, it's wild to think about, but yeah, like as soon as like something happens, that ball is like all right, get rid of it. We need a new ball. Yeah. What's wild about Mike is he dropped the ball and then he celebrated and then he ran and got the ball again. Yeah. Like, there was like a five to eight second clip mm-hmm. where the ball was just laying on the ground. Right. Like, somebody somebody needs to get 
Somebody needs to go get that ball like a little bit sooner. Yeah. You need to get a, a ball boy like Larry Fit up in uh, mini. Yep. And uh, get him out there, get that ball, run over there and grab real quick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, hey, we did get a trade. Uh, Joe Flacco was traded from the Eagles back to the Jets. That poor, <laughs> poor bastard. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know he was on the Eagles. Really? <laughs> like. I, honestly, I didn't either because I thought Gardner was the number two. And then I saw someone put, like, Gardner Minshew, new number two in Philly. I'm like, he wasn't the number two? <laughs> but you had Flacco at two over Gardner? What are you Man. doing? What are you doing, baby? Uh, but, no, Joe Flacco going back to the, the shit Jets. I feel bad for him on that. but uh, It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, Devontae Adams was also tested positive for COVID as well, T's and P's there. But I don't think that's going to be a big issue for Green Bay. Because uh, if you look at some stats for how Aaron's played without Devonte, he's played completely fine. Like, which is almost wild to think about because of how good Devonte is. But you look at like the the team stats. You look at Aaron Rodgers' stats without with and without Devonte. Yeah. Like they're both good. Like like I think uh, I think Aaron Rodgers has, th- has thrown like over the past couple seasons where Devonte hasn't played like 15 TDs to no no interceptions without Devonte, and then you look at what he's done with Devonte. it's like that's just ridiculous <laughs> so i mean no Devonte for this thursday night game more than likely for, um that's you know against a, a pretty big matchup man against arizona uh it's gonna be a tough one to predict i still don't have an opinion on it right now i'm, I'm still trying to figure it out as we get to, closer to our predictions here <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a really good game that's that's a thursday night game i might tune into yeah. um Let's hop over to our college segment. Uh, talk about how last week did, and we'll get our predictions in. Do, I, I got a question a for you. I got a question for you real What's quick. What's up? What's up? Have you seen the movie Paterno? Uh, no. No, I haven't. It's on HBO. No. It's, if you hate Jerry Sandusky, you'll definitely hate him after that movie. Oh, no. You'll hate him even more. Oh, no. Man, it was so hard to watch that because uh, Al Pacino, or whatever the fuck his name is, Al, you know who I'm talking about. He played Joe Paul in the movie, mm-hmm. and he fucking nailed it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought I was watching Joe Paul in there. I was like, hold up. This is actually a movie. This ain't the real deal. Right. So, yeah, who, play, he, who plays Jerry? Um, It's like a little small clips. He don't oh, really okay. have any, like, talking points, I guess, because. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> somebody might find him, you know, if he actually talks. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like, I mean, he looked kind of like Jerry, though. Like, it, it fucked me up a little bit. Like, I was getting pissed off, and I was like. Damn, why are they doing this to Joe Paul? And I was like, man, fuck Sandusky. <sighs> Fucking Sandusky, man. God damn it, boy. Jesus. And they do have a clip in there of where the first uh, the first boy, he went back to school, and then everybody was talking about Sandusky. Mm. And then some kid was walking up to the cafeteria table. Mm. And they're like, man, did you get uh, Sandusky last night? Man, I remember that in school. I mm. remember that saying. Mm. That's... Yep, I still hear that shit today whenever I'm like, yeah, man, I'm a Penn State fan. Like, oh, Sandusky. Nah, motherfucker. Shit, James Franklin. <laughs> Joe Paul. Oh, shit. That, that's going to live with you guys for forever. Yep. I mean, and it sucks because Joe Paul is such a such an iconic man. Yeah. And he gets fucked over by old Jerry. Mm. Jerry's a fucking scumbag piece of shit. Yep. You, mm-hmm. you know a scumbag when you see one. Uh, you know, actually, before we uh, jump over to college predictions, because I just thought of this, because this has been popping off in the news involving a scumbag. Uh, we're still getting a lot of trade talk right now involving Deshaun. Uh, yeah. Deshaun's probably going to be going to like Miami or Carolina, apparently, or uh, Denver. Denver. I seen Denver too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, initially, it was going to pop out where Tua was going to Washington, reunite <laughs> with Fitz Magic. I thought that, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, yeah, Tua would get traded up to uh, Washington, and uh, Watson go down to Miami was the initial trade rumors that we were seeing. But yeah, I don't know, man. That is such a gamble of a trade if you're a GM. It really is. As long as these allegations are still like in discussion and still being worked out, that is such a damn gamble. Yeah. You know. Because you got to keep in mind, like when it, when it comes to the people who have made the allegations, there's a good handful of them that have put their name and face out there where they're not, you know, being anonymous. So I mean, dude, this that's a. If I was a GM, like, and look, I, I've been a Deshaun Watson fan for many years. Yeah. You know, up until this this shit kind of popped off, and man, I, he's a phenomenal football player. But there's no way I would make that gamble because obviously, yep. if it, you know, if I make that gamble and I trade away. 
you know, multiple first round picks, some some decent players and stuff to get this superstar quarterback in my building, and then everything ends up being true, then I look like the biggest idiot on the face of this planet, and I'm losing my job. Yep. So there's no way I would do that trade. I don't care how desperate I am. I'll fucking tank for the rest of this year and just get a quarterback next year. I'll tank for Tua. You know, <laughs> the saying that we re- that we just had here with a couple of years ago, but. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. I mean, like I said, you know a scumbag when you can see one. Yep. Uh, all right, college time. So, week eight recap here. Uh, my, like we did mention, uh, Miami beat NC State. Illinois did beat Penn State. But some other news. Uh, Louisiana did beat Arkansas State to no surprise. But That's the wild. score was a surprise, though. Did you see the, the Russian attempts for Louisiana? No, it wasn't. Holy shit. <laughs> they ran for about four, 410 yards. Oh, shit. And – Man, Arkansas State defense is so damn bad. So <laughs> they, damn bad. They passed for 100 yards and won a game. That's like old, that's old school. That's uh, that's old school right <laughs> there, dude. Uh, but they did beat them 28-27. Your prediction was like 56-13. to I mean, you were way off on that one. Hey, I didn't expect it to be. I, yeah. I, I understand. Butch must have heard me on that one. I guess. He was listening. He might, he might be turning it on now. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, UCF beat Memphis 24-7. Hawaii beat New Mexico State 48-13. Love to see that. Oregon uh, ended up beating your squad, UCLA, 34-31. That ended up being a pretty good game. And then Notre Dame, of course, beat USC 31-16. Some notables here is Iowa State did beat eighth-ranked Oklahoma State 24-21, which that's not really shocking because I feel like Oklahoma State only got up as high as they did yeah. just because of how many teams have like lost. I feel like it's a BYU situation yeah. again where BYU got ranked, ranked 10th and they lost like three in a row. That's well, how I feel like what happened. Well, as Iowa State was favored by seven. Yep. Against the number eight team in the yep, country. Exactly. Exactly. I, I know. What I did, the fuck? Did, did we both pick that game last week or just me? Because I know I picked Iowa State. I think I think only I just picked that game. Yeah. I know I picked Iowa State in like a separate okay. college picks. But, yeah. Because I remember when you picked that, I was like, damn, I really should have picked Iowa State right. on that one. Appalachian State ended up pulling off a, a beautiful upset versus 14 ranked Coast Carolina, 30 to 27. And I got to say, uh, I I never I haven't really never paid attention to Appalachian State. I had no reason to, but oh my god, they have the most beautiful stadium yes. A- environment. Yes, they do. I, I started following someone on Twitter who's a, a photographer who I'm assuming is going to school at Appalachian State, and he's posting pictures like the baseball field and all like the autumn trees yep. around it, same thing in the football field. And I'm just like, oh my sweet god, this is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys haven't seen it, go look up. Up Appal- Appalachian State Stadium and stuff. It's did, a beautiful. Did surrounding. I send you the video of the App State fans talking no. about like, uh, you know how Coast Carolina is also like country. Yeah. And they were talking about, yeah. At least we know how to grow a real mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about you got to have it short in the front and just long in the back. Yeah, you got to grow it out about three years, curl it up a little bit. That's how you make a mullet. Not y'all little sissies over there in Coast Carolina. Man, I was just <laughs> Jesus. I was like, damn, they ripping them. Okay. Uh no, I have not seen that. I might uh, have to find it and send it to you. Okay. Uh was unranked Wisconsin then ended up beating twenty fifth ranked Purdue after just Purdue just get, just got, you know, they they just beat the number two out of Iowa and they couldn't turn it around and capitalize on that momentum and they did lose thirty to thirteen. Uh, so for our FBS game of the week, we our game of the week, of course, was San Diego State and Air Force. San Diego State beat Air Force twenty to fourteen. Honestly, ended up being a pretty good game. I checked out some of the highlights. It was actually a pretty solid game, honestly. Uh, but our FCS game of the week, that was a game. That was a game. Uh, Princeton beat Harvard eighteen to sixteen after five overtimes. That's a game. I seen something where the they were talking about the officials messed up on a touchdown or something, mm-hmm. and that's why Harvard went to overtime. I, I didn't really read it because I was like, fuck, Harvard lost. That's a loss on me. Should have stayed with Princeton. <laughs> you <laughs> shouldn't have brought up all uh, – Jesper. Jesper. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have brought up Fitz Magic, <laughs> and I would have got that win. <laughs> and uh, I'd be in 10-2 ten, ten instead of 9-3. And then our terrible game recap, San Jose State ended up beating uh, Las Vegas 27-20. Not as terrible of a game as we would have hoped for, but uh, we got a bad one this week. Don't worry. We got a really bad one this week. Uh, So looking ahead, uh, Miami is going to visit 17th-ranked Pitt, man. Kenny Pickett and Pittsburgh, man, they are looking good. I'm, I'm a little scared about this game. And then your Penn State Nittany Lions are now ranked 20th, going up against 
fifth ranked Ohio State. This was going to be like our this, game of the week, yeah. and then oh, Penn State had to go ruin it. You know, damn Bert had had to ruin it. Uh, Hawaii is going to visit Utah State. UCF's going to visit Temple. Arkansas State's going to visit South Alabama. UNC and eleventh ranked Notre Dame. Th- before the season started, that would have been a hell of a matchup. Not so sure anymore. And then UCLA is going to visit Utah. And then a couple notable games we got in the top twenty-five here is, of course, sixth ranked Michigan going to visit eighth ranked Michigan State, led by Mel Tucker. Going to be a hell of a game there. And then 10th-ranked Ole Miss going to visit 18th-ranked Auburn. It's going to be a good game as well. Uh, for our predictions for this week, let's go ahead and uh, let's kind of run through this a little bit. So we'll kick things off. Uh, we'll announce what our what our picks of the week are for the game of the week. Of course, we have three different ones. Got music. Uh, I do have music. You want to go with uh, the purple one? That's, that's the – We've used two so far. Yeah, we'll go with the purple one. How's that? Purple sounds good. All right, we'll go with purple. We'll go with purple. All right, so announcing our game of the week. No drum roll this time. Yep, because we have one I now. I like that. Kind of. Yeah. All right, for our FBS game of the week, it is, of course, to no surprise, it is sixth-ranked Michigan going to eighth-ranked Michigan State. It's going to be a hellacious game. Looking forward to watching this one this weekend. For our FC FCS game of the week, we have Dartmouth. Big Green, the Big Green, going up against Harvard Crimson. Harvard once again back in. This is going to be a big Ivy League game. They're both five and one. Uh, the Big Green has outscored their opponents 134 to 67. The Crimson has outscored their opponents 157 to 61. They're both coming off their first L's though. The Big Green lost 19 to zero versus the Columbia Lions, and Harvard, of course, like we just mentioned, lost 18 to 16 in the five OT versus the Princeton Tigers. So both coming off their loss. Going to be curious to see how this pays off for both of them going this week. And then our terrible game of the week. We try our best to keep this at FBS level so everyone knows who we're talking about for the most part. No one has to question who. Well, we had a couple FBS games lined up, but there was one particular game at FCS level that just really stood out above the rest of how bad this game is. We got the Wagner Seahawks going up against the Long Island Sharks. Wagner is 0-7. Long Island is 1-5. Wagner has been outscored. 200 to 75 <laughs> and Long Island has been outscored 219 to 52. This is our terrible game of the week down at FCS level. We're going to try to keep it at FBS level pretty much all the time, but man, this just needed some love. It did. This game is so bad that it needed some love. This, this is this is about like the first week whenever I brought it in. Yep. This is this is rough. This is a bad one. Yeah, the first week you brought it in I think it was a Yukon game, right? It was UConn and UMass. No, I had a FCS. Oh, okay. First. It was uh, it was D three. No, oh, that's right. Fucking Simpson and uh, and Luther. Luther. God damn you, Luther. <laughs> the Norse. God. The Norse man. Oh, geez, damn. dude. That's a that, it's a bad game this week. Bad, mm-hmm. bad game. Uh, so let's actually lock in our predictions. So, like I said, we got fourteen. We have the three game of the week. Uh, I, we both have four that only we're calling. So we'll start off with that. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and kick things off. Uh, Miami at seventeenth ranked uh, Pitt. I gotta, I gotta keep rocking with Pitt, man. Uh, on this one, I mean Kenny Pickett and that Pittsburgh Panthers team. They're, they're looking good. I gotta roll with them. Hawaii at Utah State. I gotta be honest. Um, Hawaii's starting to turn it on. Yeah. They're starting to turn it on. They've, you know, I feel like they're they've got a lot higher average points per game, higher uh, total yards average than Utah State. I think Utah State is favored right now, but man, I'm feeling I'm feeling Hawaii. They just came off a big win, putting up 48 points. I think they're going to get it against Utah you State. You going to disrespect Blake like that? I am, yeah. Okay, yeah, Blake, and I'm disrespecting him, man. I'm feeling I'm feeling <laughs> Hawaii. Let's get it. Uh, and then this this next game that I'm calling, this one was actually in contention for our terrible game of the week at FPS level. Georgia State and Georgia. 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 Uh, <laughs> Georgia Southern. All right, so this is a long-time rivalry dating back to the 70s, pretty much basketball only. It only kind of kicked off for football back in 2014. I think Georgia State is currently leading 4-3 in the series. Uh, they're both like 2-5, two 2-4. and, five, two and four. I mean, their points per game is, is dog shit. They're both allowing 30-plus points a game. You know, this was going to be in contention for terrible game of the week. I'm going to actually rock with Georgia State. Let's go. I'm rocking with I'm rocking with Georgia State on this one. Okay, Let's go. I like it. I like Let's it. Let's go. 
Oregon State and Cal, man, I'm rocking with these Beavers. Got to. Let's get it. Let's go, go, Beavers, baby. I love what I'm seeing out of the Beavers, man. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep rock with them until they let me down. Yep. Okay, I'll, they, I'll feel that. <laughs> All right. So, what about your four? What do you got lined up? So I have off the off the dome. We got UCLA at Utah. All right. We got a Pac-12 matchup right here. I like them. I like uh, I like UCLA in this one. Okay. I like them. Okay. So we got number two. <laughs> You keep coming back, man. Hey, I'm coming back to Wyoming, okay? <laughs> Hold on. Did you win? Did you lose last week on that one? Uh, I feel like I did because I think they lost. They might have won. I, I don't even fucking know. No, you didn't call them last week. Oh, I didn't? No. They must have been on a bye. Yeah, you didn't call them last week. But I know the last time you did call them that you did lose. I feel like I call them damn near every week. Yeah, the la- on episode five for uh-huh. uh, week seven, you called them and you lost. Uh, let's go back a little bit further. Let's go back and look at episode four for college. Uh, uh, you did not call them then. But basically, the times you've called them has just not worked out. Okay, so let's go Lee Corso mode again. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. So Wyoming has an alumni by the name of Joshua Patrick Allen. Jesus Christ. They they were the only ones that offered him a scholarship. That's true. Okay. And then we have another another team that they're playing, and that's San Jose State, which is in San Jose, California. Oh, thanks. I fucking hope so. That would be very <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, they'd be like Tampa Bay and St. Petersburg. Okay. Led, led by Nick Starkle. Okay, Justin Bieber lover right there. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> damn, I can't think of the Justin Bieber song. So we're going to go a Wyoming. Go Bills. Okay. Uh, the next one, SMU, about to lose their coach. He's going to go to uh, Texas Tech. <laughs> They're playing uh, Houston. The Cougars. And I picked uh, – uh, damn, I picked SMU. Okay. I, they're undefeated, I believe. They're going to stay undefeated. Okay. And then I got Arkansas State, unfortunately, <laughs> against South Alabama, right? You know what? You know what Arkansas State showed me? That they when, suck. That they suck, but you know what else they showed me? That they really suck. That they gonna win this damn game no. just because just because I thought they'd get their ass blown out and they almost won. You're rocking with the Red Wolves in this. Fuck it. Hey. Shit. You can't only beat UCA. That terrible ass school. I'm gonna can, go I'm gonna go ahead and write an X through this one because we know it's gonna they're gonna lose. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not even gonna put a, I'm not even gonna put a score, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How yes. Rev rules are rising occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. Okay. It's either that or Butch is getting fired. So oh, they got to get a win eventually. All okay. right. Let's go to our next picks. We got a bunch of games that both of us are calling. Uh, kicking things off with Texas at 16 ranked Baylor. How you feeling on this one? See, I, I like Baylor a lot, but I love Bijan Robinson. That's fair. I'm rocking with Baylor on this one. Yeah, I'm taking Baylor too. Okay. I just had to Lee Corso it. Virginia at 25th ranked BYU. You going first? I'll go with Virginia. I like Virginia a lot on this one. I that really damn do. damn quarterback is fucking Dude, good. Dude, he's a beast. I'm loving I'm loving it, and I still think BYU, I don't know why they're ranked. <laughs> I legitimately <laughs> don't know why they're ranked. So I'm rocking with the it's, Cavaliers It's because their one. quarterback plays for the damn Jets. Yeah. You got to cut them some slack. So for that reason, I'm going BYU. Oh, my God. Go Kooks. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. Uh, Fresno State at uh, 21st ranked San Diego State University. Uh, I think San Diego State, I think they're 7-0 and right now, right? They're still they are. They're and one then, of the undefeated. Yeah, and then Fresno, I think, is 5-2 and two currently. Yep. Did they? Did Hawaii beat them? Uh, I think Hawaii beat Fresno State, yeah, because I think I called that game. That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. San Diego State. Okay. Don't embarrass yourself. Let's go Aztecs. Go with the Bulldogs, baby. I, I think this is going to be uh, – uh, San Diego State's first loss right here, Fresno State. Uh, Fresno, uh, Fresno, <laughs> <laughs> Florida State <laughs> at Clemson. Uh, the, sh- the shit Seminoles uh, going to visit the Tigers. How are we feeling on this one? Uh, did you see the stuff coming out with uh, Clemson and, you know, DJ got benched? Oh, he did? Yeah. He got benched in, in the middle of the game, yeah. Fuck. Only for one quarter. For a, a guy that I don't know how to pronounce his last name either. His name is Tyson. I know it's Tyson. T-A-I-S-U-N. Okay, not T Y S O N. 
T A I S U N Tyson something. I don't know what, but as soon as I saw that last name, I'm just like, what is up with Clemson and these last names right now? Like, what yeah, are we they doing? We need to get back to the Boyds and the Watsons and the Lawrence. Yeah, like, what are we doing? I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, but who who are you feeling on this one? Well, I didn't know that news, <laughs> and I had already put down Clemson because fuck Florida State. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go with Clemson regardless. I feel like Florida State is going to fucking win this game. I'm still picking Clemson just because I can't pick Florida State. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right, 10th-ranked Old Miss going to visit 18th-ranked Auburn. Man, I I got to say, I like what I'm seeing with Lane and Old Miss. I really do. Yeah. I, I think I think they're, I think they're Lane is, has finally found a place for him in college football. Yeah. I really do. So I'm rocking Old Miss on this one. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Old Miss, too. I love Brian Harson though. I always got to say that. He's a great man. Next up, number one, Georgia at unranked Florida, which uh, ESPN is trying to build up as some great-ass <laughs> game. I saw some poll. All right, and get this, because you're going to feel really disrespected about this. They had this poll. It's like, who do you think is going to win this weekend? It had four options, and it had, like, you know, both two of the options being the Michigan game. So it's like one you think Michigan State's going to win, one you think Michigan's going to win. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, Ohio beats Penn State, and then the last option was Georgia beats Florida. I'm like, that's disrespectful to Penn State, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's disrespectful that they put this shit ass <laughs> SEC game over Penn State could beat Ohio State. I was like, that is disrespectful. Fuck. Uh, I mean, Georgia. I mean, easy. Yeah, Georgia. Fuck Florida. Oh, man. Uh, all right. It's time for your game. How you feeling? 20th Penn State going to visit the Buckeyes. I have a sidebar for this one. Uh oh. Because a guy that is from this area transferred to school in this area and he uh chose ohio over arkansas true and he was the leader in receptions for ohio not ohio state ohio so uh i found out that he got released by the chargers oh did he yep hmm. so that has nothing to do with this game but i just want to let you know ohio <laughs> state fucking sucks <laughs> but they're gonna beat our ass and it's probably gonna be like 50 to one to 20. God damn, we ain't scoring 20. I really hope so. Uh, I will take this loss, and I'm picking Penn State, even though I just <laughs> put out a score for us to lose. I'm taking this loss. Fuck it. Give me that loss. I'm taking Ohio State. We are, motherfucker. I'm taking Ohio State. All right, game Can of the week. Can I get the points for this game, please? No. I think their spread's like 17. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. Can I please get these points? I'll take Penn State with the points. Oh, that's my that's my prediction. Okay. Penn State with the points. Okay, we're gonna cover. It's also shout out to that. I, I'm I'm seeing more stuff where it's like uh, like mobile sports betting is gonna yep. come to our state next year. And I gotta say, when that happens, bro, it's it's game on. Like you know, I know like I think one of the I think it was Jeremy right was saying yeah. that he would like to see us do that. Well, at the end of the day, I mean, we can't bet. I mean, we could. We'd have to go down. To, we have to, we'd have to go down to Oakland to do yeah. it. But uh, I'm telling you, once mobile sports betting is a thing, yo, it's game over. We are yeah. calling these spreads, the money lines, over, unders. Like, it is on. Like, the picks that we're doing now, it's going to be a thing of the past, man. <laughs> it's all about them bets, baby. Let's let's earn some money. Let's Hell get it. Hell, yeah. Uh, a game of the week, though. This is I, I'm actually really excited to watch this game. Uh, Sixth-ranked Michigan um, versus eighth-ranked Michigan State. How you feeling on this one? I'm going with Michigan State. They have really shown to me this year they are a good team. They, you know, once you know, once it was leading up to the Miami game, you know, I think like week two, I, that to me, I saw a much better football team. They were unranked at the time too, yeah. And they've climbed up number eight. I, I'm going to rock with the Spartans, man. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of Michigan. I don't know what it is about them, but Michigan State, they're all right. I'm going to take Michigan State. I'm not going to take that easy loss. Okay, fuck cargo pants or whatever. <laughs> All right, khakis. FCS game of the week. How are you khakis. feeling? Are you feeling on the big green or the crimson? Uh, <laughs> Shit, big green. I can't get over that name. <laughs> you know what's worse? That logo is just a big D. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, well, keep in mind, the big green came off a 19-0 loss versus Columbia. Uh, Harvard, they came off their 5 OT loss. I feel like Harvard's coming in with a little bit more momentum, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I, I can't help but to want to pick the big green because the name is a meme to me. <laughs> Oh it's man. Like, it's like thinking of Shrek's dick or something. <laughs> Damn it, boy. Okay. Well Jesus. because you keep saying that, I'll take a Harvard. I'll take a Harvard. Oh boy. Fuck. I'm a rock with Harvard. I'm a rock with Harvard. 
All right, this you don't is... like the big D? <laughs> no, don't like the big D. You don't like the big, big D mouth? No. <laughs> All right, game of the week. The, I mean, the terrible game of the week. Man, this one's tough. These teams suck. <laughs> oh, my God. So, like I said, uh, the Wagner uh, Seahawks have been outscored 200 to 75. Long Island has been outscored 219 to 52. Long Island just got their first dub. They're 1 and 5, while Wagner's 0 and 7. This is tough. Both these teams suck so bad. I'll throw some stats out for you because I, I wrote these stats down because I, I was bored. Bet. Okay, so out of the eight teams in their conference, right, Wagner is averaging 143.6 passing yards a game, <laughs> which is seventh in the their division. Uh, they're averaging 108.4 rushing yards, which is fifth, which is that's actually pretty impressive. Sadly. Uh, but their total yards a game is 245.7. Ooh, ooh. That's seventh, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Did I say who that team was? By who you were just talking about? Yeah. That was Wagner. Okay, bet. Okay, yeah. I was just, okay. Wagner. Wagner, okay. Uh, Long Island, they are averaging 140.3, which mm-hmm. is last for passing. They're averaging 90.7. Rushing yards a game. You would think that would be last. No, they're seventh. I think the last person is averaging like 60. That's that's bad. That's fucking embarrassing right there. Y'all don't even <laughs> need to be a damn school if y'all are averaging 60 rushing yards a game. <laughs> Close okay. the program. <laughs> Shut it down. You may be this shit. Okay. <laughs> so they're averaging 223 and a half yards a game. Yikes. That's obviously last. Yeah. That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. So for that reason... There's a guy that used to play at Arkansas State. His name was Michael Lombardo. He was a linebacker. He transferred to Wagner. <laughs> and he did, he did pretty good, okay? That's a now, random school to transfer to. Now, I know it was a really fucking random. I didn't even understand why he did that. But now he is in the UFC almost. He's, like, knocking on the door. Like, they're kind of opening the door, but they're kind of like, oh, keep going. I think he's, like, 12-2 and two right now. He mm-hmm. was on a Dana Wise Contender Series on ESPN+. Plus. Still got to get you that. Uh, well, obviously, you played a Wagner. I'm taking Wagner. Fuck it. I seen that logo. It looks pretty sick. It does. Okay. In all fairness, the, the Seahawks logo they have, it does look pretty sick. What's weird about Long Island, whenever you go to their page, it shows their basketball school as mm-hmm. Long Island, Brooklyn. But it looks completely fucking different from their football team. Maybe that's just a glitch. That's weird. Because there's a lot of Long Islands. And, they're like, there's a lot of Loyola Mar- Melmouse or Mary mm-hmm. Mouse or whatever. Because you got Chicago, you got Long mm-hmm. Island, you know. I don't know. That's just really weird to me. Somebody needs to step up their social media game. I'm going to rock with the Seahawks as well. Seahawks. Yeah, well, I was wishing he was going Long Island. He kind of gave me they a act- not to go for him. They actually got a win, though, which is really fucking impressive. <laughs> it is. They just got it. <laughs> Oh, geez, that game is so damn bad. <laughs> we could have went a little bit worse, but we could have that one. That one it, deserved it. Look, we we've got we've got to we've got to have the fine line of if we're gonna step below FBS, it's got to at least be FCS. We yeah. can't go lower than that because then people are gonna start getting Luther and Simpson hey. and really don't know what we're talking about. What was my D two? No, that was, that was Luther and Simpson. That was, yeah, no, that was D three. Oh. Henderson was D two. Yeah, it was Henderson I took and Harding. That loss. Yeah. Fucking embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, I need to stop doing this shit. <laughs> All right, let's go to our NFL predictions. We're the only show that does this, though, so that's, hey, I think. We, we stand out a little bit. Got to. Ugly yep. ass. All right, NFL <laughs> predictions. Um, do we want any music for the predictions, or just we want to keep vibing like we are? Hey, let's keep going music. We need to, like, keep track of what music we're doing for which. Well, we have not used green, teal, or blue. You say green? Yep. Well, green is uh, this first game. We'll do green. Let's hit the music. All right, kicking things off for week seven. I mean, no, week eight of the NFL. Baltimore and Vegas is on a buy. Only buys this week after having like six million buys last week. Uh, Thursday night football, that's going to be a tough one. Green Bay is going to visit Arizona. How are you feeling on this one? I still don't know. I've been debating this for days. I've been debating this the entire show, and I don't know how I'm feeling on it. Uh... You kind of talked me into not picking Green Bay, but I like Aaron Jones. 
Maybe he'll get more than 16 fucking rushing yards. Fair. So Green Bay. Well, I want to say that I feel like Green Bay is going to win, but I have been riding with Arizona and the Kyler Murray MVP train all year. I got to keep riding with them. Arizona. Let's get it. Cincinnati at the Jets. Cincinnati. Easy. Yeah, Cincinnati. Yeah, easy. Uh, Tennessee at Indy. This is going to be a good game. Uh, I like both of these teams. And since Derrick Henry decided he wanted to throw a touchdown pass, let's go uh, Tennessee. I'm going Tennessee as well. I feel like they're riding a really hot hand right now. Rams at Houston. Rams, easy. Rams. Hey, your boy's coming coming back, apparently. Tyrod, he's going to be on his way back sometime soon. Oh, damn. Yep, and he will. he's obviously confirmed to be the starter, as he should. Uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. How you feeling on this AFC North matchup? That is a... Uh... That's a solid game right it there. It is. Yeah, it's going to be a good noon game. Cleveland won last week, right? Yeah. With uh, the running back. Um, uh, Deon- De- Dearness Johnson. Yeah. Is he he going to start? I-, I don't know if I haven't seen anything on Chubber or Hunt yet. If he starts, I'm picking Cleveland. Actually, I'm picking Cleveland anyway. Uh, I'll go with Pitt. Uh, Philadelphia and Detroit. Philadelphia. Uh. uh damn. No, uh, I'll take this loss. Uh. Fuck it, Philly. Okay. <laughs> I don't, you almost got me. You almost got me. San Fran and Chicago. At this point, I'm just fading the Bears. San Fran. Chicago. That's a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> pick pick the opposite of me. Exactly. Uh, Carolina and Atlanta. Look, what a damn dumpster fire Carolina is right I now. I know, man. They've gone downhill. I'm going to ride with Jeremy this week. I got you, bud. We're going with the Falcons. I like that, Jeremy. Y'all getting a dub this week. Unfortunately, it's against Sammy and uh, Robbie A. Y'all ain't even got to mention this next game because it's going to be a fucking blowout again. <laughs> we, we we shutting them out twice in one year. Yeah. It's happening. Let's go. Buffalo. Easy. easy. Miami at Buffalo taking Buffalo on this one. Uh, going up to the afternoon games, we have New England at the Chargers. New England just put up 50-something points against the shit Jets, but I don't think they're going to be able to do the same thing against the Chargers. Charger, I'm riding with the Chargers, man. This is, I think this is a very good football team. I love I love their head coach, Staley, man. I love this guy. Yep, let's go. Chargers. Jacksonville at Seahawks. How you feeling on this one? Still no Russ, obviously, but I'm still feeling the Hawks on this. Same. I, I, feel, like, I feel like the Hawks are... Uh, they're in an okay position yeah. with uh, Rock Magino for the moment. Oh, yeah. Washington and Denver, a couple of uh, mediocre teams, man. With how Denver's falling off, I feel like i got to go uh, the football team on this one. I'm going uh, Denver. Oh. Let's, uh, let's spice it up a little bit. Spicy. I think this is like our third different game. Tampa Bay and New Orleans. Yeah, Tampa. <laughs> Tampa. Easy. Come on now. Easy. All right, Sunday Night Football. Will Diggs get another interception? Dallas at Minnesota. Kirk Cousins is a quarterback, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get an interception. <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> I'm going to go with Dallas as well. All right. And what my- a fucking Monday night game we got here. I know. <laughs> New York Giants going to visit the Kansas City Chiefs, who like, are struggling. Like, like, even if Kansas City was a good team, why would they even make this damn game? Right. Why would they put hey, the Giants hey, in the, the Giants? Night? The Giants could pull off the upset. Yeah, I'm picking the Giants, but I'm just wondering why they would put him in a Monday night game. That's fair. That's fair. Even if they had everybody. Kind of like, kind of like uh, Green Bay and Detroit was Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that idea? Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> damn. Yeah, Giants going to win. Okay. Barkley needs to come back. I'm actually going to ride with KC on this one. I'm going with KC. You're going with the Giants. It's going to be a good time. Hell yeah. Uh, is that all of our picks? Yeah, that's it. Um, all right, so for Fantasy League standings, Nate is set. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to bounce back, people. I'm feeling it. It's going to start this week. Uh, Nate is 7-0. and <laughs> Brady is 5-2 and in second. Tony is 4-3 and in third. Dave is 4-3 and in fourth. J-Max 4-3 and in fifth. Tyler is 3-4 and in sixth. Jimmy's 3-4 and in seventh. And... <laughs> God damn. I'm 1-6 in last. Who did you beat? That's what I was... I'm, I, 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 it was week shit. one. I, I came off hot in week <laughs> one. <laughs> it's all gone down. You know sense. Now, I should have beat Brady. Brady, I, 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 again, I went to bed with a night. Was it you? Did I beat you? I did. That's right. I did beat you week one. Ah, yes. You beat me because... I'll take that. I thought I started Henderson, I think. 
or no? I'll take that. You will, I know you traded me Cooks. As That's a, what as, I was. As, as a cooks. meme. Yep. As a meme. Because I traded you Cooks for a... Uh, Michael Card. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Because you sure would have started... Uh, you probably would have started Sutton. Probably, yeah. Who had two and Cooks had 23. Yep. Yep. You beat me by 10. Fucking I should have beat Brady, too. I should have beat Brady, too. I don't know uh, what's up with Brady. Brady's always, like, sneaky good. Dude, he is. He not. sneaks, man. He sneaks in for dubs. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. See, I'll be sitting right there if you would have allowed that damn Josh Allen trade. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were still working the trade. I'll never live that down. Hell, especially if he fucking wins and I'll lose. I'll never live that down. Uh, any quick fantasy thoughts? Uh, starts, sits, trades, ads, drops. I uh, want to drop anything here since you didn't decide to post anything on Sunday. Man, I really did forget about that. <laughs> I didn't even see you tweet about it either. That's the thing. I guess that's why I forgot about it. I had so many damn messages. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, that's fucking terrible. Yeah, you know, it happens. I had some bad ones once again. Naturally. Yep. Uh. Wow. Yeah. So. Let's see. Man, my team is all fucked up. Uh, Is Jerry Judy back? No. I don't think so. Well, if Jerry Judy's back, play him. Uh, Man, my team is fucking stacked after a damn bye week. (laughs) Uh, Javante Williams, he uh, he did pop off a little bit with 20 rushing yards, but he had a touchdown. So, uh, if you got Javante and you have the room, start him. Uh, Huck the cock, obviously start him. I like I like uh, Claypool versus Cleveland. Yeah, that's solid. If uh, I like Devonte Smith against Detroit, Ooh. that is a Ooh. that's a matchup right there. He's that is because I know. I mean, who who do they really have at corner over there? I mean, like I'll be honest, I can't even name nobody. On I only know one corner, and he's out for the year, and that's uh, um, Okada. Okada. Yeah, he's out for the year. Fucking Ohio. He was from Ohio, right? Ohio State, yeah. Yep, fuck him. Uh, I think Debo's going to do some damage on y'all, even though I picked y'all. Yeah, I mean, Debo's good, dude. Uh, Chase <laughs> <laughs> against the Jets. Ooh. Okay, you're going you're gonna to say that, and he's going to have like fucking seven drops and 13 yards total. Good. Maybe then my original preseason prediction on him will start coming true. No. Have you seen his projections for the year? I haven't seen his projections, but I know he's already at, like, what, almost 800 yards because Cooper is over 800 now, and uh, Chase is right there behind him, like, 754. I wrote it down earlier because I was going to talk shit to you. Uh, His projection is 1831 receiving yards, 85 catches, and 15 touchdowns. Chase is having a hell of a rookie year, man. Yep. He said, fuck you, Alex. Basically. (laughs) He said fuck you to everyone who thought he was going to be a bust. Uh, now I will say, while it is working out for Cincy right now, you can tell why you can tell that they still need that line help. Yep. I mean, they do. Yep. <laughs> they they do. They they need line help desperately, uh, desperately. But it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, Josh is gonna fucking pop off. I think Joe's gonna pop off. You know, we just talked about Chase. You know, Joe. I know in our league at least, Joe is currently a free agent. Um, so I'd look to pick Joe up and give him a start, depending on who your core QB is, because that's one that I'm kind of considering. Because uh, A Rod's my QB right now, and I'm kind of I'm kind of scared of the Arizona game for him being my starter. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. So I could see that. No, in fact, you know I'm gonna put that waiver in right now while I'm thinking about it. No, I'm fucking with you. Hey, I'm dead last. <laughs> all right, I'm getting first claim on waiver. You can kiss my ass. I keep forgetting that it's not till tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I'm fifth. So. I don't think I have another waiver in right now, so uh, I don't know who I want to drop. Uh, here's a drop. Uh, I'll figure that out later. I do have to pick up a tight end though. I don't have a tight end this week. Mark Andrews on a buy. Yeah. So I gotta figure that out. Dang, Michael Pittman's available. Yeah, I dropped him. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, you did. Yep. <laughs> Robbie Andrews. <laughs> that is fucking embarrassing for me. I don't know if that's as bad as the chase though. Because I thought Robbie was going to do some damage. Uh, no, the chase is probably worse. Because I was hammering that he was a, like a literal hardcore bust. <laughs> he, I mean, okay, hold on. And you know, you you were on this train with me. Don't try to yeah. act like Mister Innocent over here, you son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm just saying they should have drafted uh Sewell. 
Yeah, Penesel. They, yeah. but hey, shit. When you best friends with that dude, you might as well just fucking take him. Right. Well, um, any last thoughts we got here? What's the uh, date or not? Before that, Jesseville plays the number one three A team. Okay. They are uh, eight zero. Yeah. So, shout they out. They might uh might catch that loss. Their luck might run out. Okay. Because ever since we've been mentioning Mason and them, I think they're on a four game fucking win streak. Okay. <laughs> so. Hey, Mason and uh, and Carson, do some damage. I know y'all are listening. So, be Prescott's bitch ass. Shout out, shout out, shout out, Jesse. Go Lions. Uh, you said what's for dinner? That yeah. is a good question. I wish it was tacos because I'm really feeling some fucking tacos. Tacos. Are Did you good. see Taco Bell breakfast? Yeah. Have you had it yet? I mean, yeah. Recently. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Now Damn. that now that it finally came back in our area. About damn time, man. I know, man. That was my favorite damn thing. When I, I love the AM Crunch Wraps, love them. I like them burritos because you know I'm cheap as you know. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't go broke on money on food, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give me that give me dollar menu shit. I hey, Taco Bell's got some good dollar menu stuff. That uh, hey, Chipotle chicken melt whatever wrap. Yeah, they don't do mm-hmm. five dollar boxes are where it's at on the app. That's though. true. That's true. Cheesy gordita crunch. That four dollar damn yeah, taco yeah. turns into. Dollar twenty five when mm-hmm. you get that box. Bingo. Then you gotta obviously gotta upgrade the drink for ten cents, you know, get that. Unfortunately they don't have sweet tea on the app. <laughs> which somebody needs to fucking fix that. Cause I I'm getting Mountain Dew every fucking time and it pisses me off. I'm tired of drinking fucking Mountain Dew at Taco Bell. <laughs> I want that damn sweet tea, but you know I'm so damn I'm not gonna be like, Hey, I got a pick up for Tyler. Uh can you switch that drink to a sweet tea? I'm not gonna say that. Why not? Because they work on nah, them. Fuck, I can't do that. Because I'm not going to harass them. It's not harassment. It's asking a very simple question. If you made it super complicated. Oh, by the way, on that, uh, on that, you know, let's say a crunch wrap that I ordered just as an example. Yeah, can you, like, not do the sour cream, do, like, extra, you know, lettuce, do extra this, extra that, and minus this? Yeah, thanks. Then you're being calm and harassing them. If you're just like, yo, can you change my drink for me? It wasn't on the app. They're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll give you a sweet tea. Quit being a bitch. Just make get the sweet tea, Tyler. It stresses me out, man. <laughs> it stresses me out. I know, I know there's people out there that feel me right there. Okay. I mean, there are. I mean, it took me so long to do apps because Sonic is my favorite place to go because you literally do not have to talk to fucking nobody. Mm-hmm. Sonic just, app's fantastic. You just click, I'm install one because yep. I always get that first one because I'm, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's closer for them. So, yeah, I always hit that one. I'm just like, damn, I ain't got to talk to nobody. Roll my window now. Yeah, I'm Tyler. Give me my fucking, uh, my large vanilla root beer. With my Gross. fucking disgusting. Okay, my my large vanilla ocean water. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, my large French vanilla iced coffee. That's uh only before eleven though, because I'm a cheap bastard and I'm not gonna spend three dollars on a damn Sonic iced coffee when I go to McDonald's and get one for a dollar on the app. I either get one of a couple of drinks. I either get a cherry vanilla Dr Pepper. That's that's fucking golden right there. Have you have you ever had, you like root beer? Fuck no, that's why I said disgusting. Oh, I hate root beer. Damn, I thought you were saying disgusting for the vanilla part. No, the, the root beer part. Dude. Um, uh, my next pick is like a cherry mango Sprite, and then also Fucking a cherry mango. blue raspberry Sprite is my next one. See, I like, that's basically ocean water. Yeah. Well, ocean water is the blue coconut. you fucking right. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not, but. See, I, I've been just, I think I get, uh. Sometimes I get cranberry Sprite. I'm not really a big Sprite person. I mean, I drink the ocean water, mm. but I'm not a big coconut guy. It's really fucking, I don't understand. When I don't like something, I don't like something. And I'll fucking veto the shit out of Did that. You, this is random. It's, just, it's involving sodas, but this is popping You my say head. Cokes? <laughs> Fuck off. It is, a, it is a soda. That's a good Coke. It is a soda pop. That's a lot. Or it is a soft drink. Not Stop. a fizzy drink. Yeah, fizzy drink's also acceptable in my mind. See, it's a funny I, name. I will accept fizzy drink, but when you're talking about pop, when you say pop, I'm thinking Pop-Tarts. When you say soda, bacon soda. Why the fuck would you drink bacon soda? Why the, uh, everything is not a Coke. It is a Coke. No, it's not. Okay, Pepsi. That is a, not a Coke. That's company. But yeah, Pepsi's a Coke. That is a cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Coke of Cola is a cola, and Sprite is a lemon-lime soda. 
Sierra Mist. You're reading too many damn is labels, a man. Lemon lime soda. You're reading labels. Y'all need to read labels, okay? Anyway, did okay. you see uh, Mountain Dew's c- upcoming um, uh, like winter drink? What's it look like, man? Have you had the apple one? Yeah, I have. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, it's not um, like a. But I will say Mountain Dew Voodoo this year was really good. I actually yeah. have a twelve pack in the fridge right now. This this year's Mountain Dew Voodoo is a lot better than previous years. But anyway, big facts. Uh, their holiday drink is a gingerbread Mountain Dew. <laughs> I I feel like I need to try it just because I'm so curious. But that just sounds so disgusting. That's a. Uh... I love gingerbread, but like as a soda, nah, nah, fam. I don't know. That's that might be a. That might be a curveball for me. I can't. I don't know I'll try I it because I'll. I, I try. I'll try anything once, you know. But that's. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean. I don't know. That's rough. That might not be a purchase. <laughs> that might be a slide in. Hey, man. Hey, can I get instead, some? instead of G fuel, can I go ahead and get this gingerbread? I mean, I'm only gonna buy like a twenty ounce bottle. What are you talking about? Oh, you bitch! I ain't buying a twelve pack. <laughs> well, if they're good, then I'll buy a twelve pack. Exactly. <laughs> You're the test dummy on these damn chili dogs. I still have yet to even have it. <laughs> Lucky some bitch. I was saving my very first reaction to Chili Dog whenever I finally get off my lazy ass and tear the G Fuel flavors again because I was going to record my my initial taste for you know the video, you know, because I, so I'll go ahead and t- tell you my plan for this. I mean, whenever I do this video, you know, I'm going to set it up where. I'm going to, like, create Chili Dog its own tier at the very top where I'm going to sit there and say, Chili Dog is so good. It's fantastic. It's God level. In fact, it's so good, I had to record my initial reaction to it, check it out, and it'll cut to me just taking a quick drink, spitting it out, and then a quick cut back. And I'm going to just continue to follow up as if it's still good, where it's like, (laughs) see, did that not tell you how amazing this flavor is? I mean, that's what I was going to do. I don't care to say it here on this show. but So I was saving my first time trying trying for chili dog for that yeah. i just haven't tried it yet oh uh, yeah it's, it's pretty rough all right well we're gonna get out of here though um because i am getting kind of hungry now that we're talking about Dude, food, i'm so. fucking starving yeah so we need to get out of here hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you didn't we totally understand this show stinks you know it we know it um tyler any last football thoughts before we get out of here anything uh, at all that you want to say to the listeners fuck ohio state fair go penn state fair uh not necessarily fuck miami but buffalo is about to Beyond the mess. Buffalo's uh, the show, yeah. Non football related. Fuck the Houston Trash Rose. <laughs> Go Braves. <laughs> okay. Hockey. Uh San Jose took a loss last night, I do believe. So that's the first loss on the season. Uh Sacramento. Get your shit together. Trade some motherfuckers. And let's build this team around our little small guards. Uh uh, da, da, da. Soccer, AS Roma took an embarrassing ass loss to some team. I don't even know who the fuck they were. They done, they've been doing pretty decent. Uh, Manchester United is fucking trash. Get that dude out of there. And I guess that's all the news I got. That's all, that's all the shit talks I got. Packers stink. Go cards. Everyone have a good weekend. I was going to say, go cards. Go cards. <laughs>